Hi guys and welcome back. So this is the third part of this series and this is part one of Scar. So when I was doing this nail, I had previously watched the Kirsty Meekin um, video on her life part um, and thought that it would be good to create these because I was initially just going to do Rafiki 3D and then after watching that video I thought I'd try and incorporate those so I'm doing the same sort of thing here. So all I'm doing is taking the acrylic and just placing the top bead on for the head and then we're just smoothing that out with the belly of the brush to make sure I've got the right shape and size, um, sorry width. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom of the head with another bead of acrylic and just blend that down because um, in that way it will give me the right f length of the face if that makes sense. So I'm just using the belly of my brush to pat that down and the sides of my brush just to smooth. So now I'm going to come in with another bead of the same acrylic. And we're just going to pop it on at the top of that head. That's quite a big bead because we are going to bring this down the centre of the face which is going to put in the nose area and um, place where we're putting the eye sockets. So I'm just using the side of my brush to pull that down. So it's just gently patting and dragging the acrylic down, um, trying to keep it in as good a shape as I can. You've got plenty of time to play with your acrylic anyway, so don't panic if you did decide to do this. But as I said, I watched the Kirsty Meekin video first and took the idea from her, so thank you very much Kirsty. Um, but yeah, I've obviously went in and painted mine to go with the Lion King theme. So I'm just blending those sides down so that you've not got that harsh line there and making sure that there's going to be enough room in this bit here where I'm working on for the eyes to be placed. I'm just smoothing, as you can see I move my fingers about quite a lot to make sure I'm quite happy with how they are. But I've just smoothed those edges right round and down onto the sides because this is where the nose and mouth will be positioned anyway. So you're just trying to keep it as neat as you can. You could do this in smaller beads of acrylic as well if you wanted, if you don't feel that you've got enough acrylic to take all the way down. Um, I'm sure I do come in and add on, yeah, here we go, um, add on little bits of acrylic just to make sure that it's got a good coverage where I need it to be and I'm able to sculpt into it. So don't worry if you don't use enough acrylic, you can come in and fix it. So I'm taking another bead now. And we're just going to work on those eyebrow areas so working round those eye sockets so just taking not a large large bead like we did for coming right down the centre of the face but I'm a good sized bead anyway and I'm using a 3D boutique brush by CGP just to do these smaller sections I can do it with my bigger brush but sometimes I like to just use this 3D boutique so all I'm doing is coming in and manoeuvring it not too much um, but just trying to place it so that it looks like the photo in front of me and just patting and pressing and just pushing right into that so that you've got that wee gap in there so that when you come in later on and pre place the eyeball it's got plenty of room for it and it's not going to be touching um, I'm then going to do the same again on the opposite side and as you can see in that little centre bit, I'm leaving that little, um, I don't even know what shape you would call it. But like, so, you know when you're frowning, you've got that wee frown line, we'll call it that. And do that on both sides, as I say. So I'll just let you watch this. If you can hear snoring, that is my puppy. She is so noisy. She's a wee French bulldog, so she likes to, let, she likes to be heard. So I apologise about her noise. So you'll see in a second here how much of a gap I've left underneath those eyelids um, 
as I say, you're going to come in and place a small bead of acrylic once we've placed um, the rest of the acrylic on. So you want to have enough of a gap that you're going to be able to press that in. But anyway, I've took another bead and I'm back to my bigger brush and this is going to be the nose. So I'm just pulling that down, blending it in to make sure that there's not a harsh line at the top where those eyebrows, the frown line is. And then I'm just patting this down right the way to the bottom of that first uh, second bead that we originally put on just to make those lines more prominent and now all I'm doing here is back again to that smaller brush is we're just going to seal in the bottom of those eyes um, so making the bottom eye line and then we'll just blend that down So just keep smoothing that in until you're happy with it and then we will come in and place on that little eyeball. So again it's just basically pushing and patting down that acrylic until you're happy. So for this eye I have came in and I've used um, the bright, a bright yellow colour. This is a glow in the dark because I wanted Scar's eyes to light up. So all I'm doing is filling in that little crevice that we created with that yellow and then moving on and doing the same on the opposite eye. So once you're finished with applying that glow in the dark colour, we're coming in with this um, super bright green colour. And this is what I'm going to do the colour of the eyeballs. So all I've done there was take that little blob and all I'm doing when you can't see me out just now is dabbing that onto kitchen towel so that it's totally draining that bead so that it stays in that little ball shape. And then just patting it into place. I'm going to take another small bead and bleed that out onto my um, kitchen roll and then just apply that as well. So we're just placing it in and then we're just gently patting it into place. Trying to keep it in that little ball shape. So I'm now going to come in and blend those cheeks down into the bottom section. So I've took a medium sized bead, as you see it was too big, I had to wipe some of that away and then I'm just using that tip of my brush just to blend those areas in underneath the eye and around the nose. So then just repeat again on the opposite side. So now I'm going to come in and separate that bottom lip section and the top lip section and to do that I'm just taking two small beads and blending that in. So you want to make sure that the centre is separated from the next bead that you're going to place and that it blends right into the top of the nose. So this is the second bead and we're just placing that right at the side and just blending that out. So I'm now going to come in with a bead and just do the nose. So 
So again, it's not a large bead, we're just taking a bead about the size that we did for each of those sections of that lip. We're just blending in the top section of that so that it blends in with the nose underneath those eyebrows. And then we're just using that tip of our brush to shape this nose. I'm using the point of my brush just to pop in some little nostrils, but I am now coming in with that dotting tool just to make sure those nostrils have a good hole in it, because you will come in and paint these later. And I'm kind of pulling the acrylic with that ball on the end of the dotting tool out to the side just to make that nose look how it should. Again, still looking at the photo that's in front of me because I'm trying to get the shape in as close to what's in the photo as I possibly can. Because I never used a big enough bead of the acrylic, which don't worry if you don't, you just come in and fix all the sections that need fix, which is what I just done there. So now I'm just fixing all the bits that I'm not too happy with. So these eyebrows I thought could have done with that little bit more acrylic. Because Scar is quite an angry one, I wanted the eyelids to come down more, the top eyelids, so that he looked angry. So that's all I'm doing here, is just adding on those tiny little beads and pulling that acrylic down more. So because of the scar has a scar, I'm going to come in with my needle paint and we're just going to mark off on that eyebrow where his scar is while the acrylic is at the moldable stage. <laughs> Sorry. So basically all I'm doing is drawing on that line and making sure um, you can see it quite clearly but you're going to come in and paint this anyway. It's just to leave that indent in that acrylic. And then I'll do the same on the bottom eye. Now you're going to want to try and line these lines up. So place on that small bit of acrylic. And then once it's at the moldable stage, come in with your pen and just pull it down. Sorry, your needle pen. So I'm now just going to come in and fix one of these cheeks because it's not as um, sticky out here as the one on the opposite side. So I'm just using a small bead of acrylic just to pat in place just to bring that cheek out more from the nail. Um, and then they both look about the same size once this one's done. So he's looking good so far but we're going to move on and do these ears. So I'm just picking up a bead of acrylic again and we're just positioning that at the side of the head on top and then we're just using the point of the brush to come in and create that centre. So all I'm doing is pushing into the acrylic, blending the ear into the top of the head and tidying up the shape. Just allowing this acrylic to dry slightly before coming in and finishing off the shaping of the ears. Sorry it goes out of focus slightly here but all I'm doing is just adding an extra little bit of that acrylic because I never added enough. It's just to blend that ear into the side of the head. And then I've done the same on the opposite side. So just picking up that bead of acrylic, placing it on, and then shaping it. So 
So then I moved on to the bottom lip and it wasn't sticking out the chin area as much as I wanted to, to. So I'm just adding on a tiny little bead here and then just blending that out just to make it more prominent. And then smoothing it into the, each of the sides. And then once this was done, I let that acrylic set up properly before coming in and paint it, which is going to be the next part, which is part two of Scar. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this, guys, and I'll speak to you in part two, which will be uploaded shortly. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.